<laughs> it's a great success in the sense that we see Muslims wanting this event. They want it. You can see they want it. But I'm just sad that they haven't shown their interest in the past. And on the day that it's completely free and it happens like this, this is the crowd we get. I hope the leaders of this ummah, the, the embassies, the Muslim country embassies and the, and the leaders of the Islamic institutions and the, the Muslim organizations, I hope you can see this and see what your people want. And inshallah, join hands with ECC. Call us, help us, support us. The next aid, we do it more securely and bigger. Once again, my appeal to the brothers and sisters out there who are heading different Muslim organizations, many brothers out there who have lots of the funds of this ummah, this is the time to come forward and spend. Because the Muslims here locally, you can see what they want. Give them what they want. They want the aid they will never forget, inshallah. They want aid every time this spectacular. Eid is our festival. As the Prophet ﷺ said, every nation has their festival. This is yours. Alhamdulillah, I'm just surrounded by so many Muslims, like, you know, all the, all, all the, you know, different levels of Iman and, you know, subhanAllah. I only wish we had a bigger, bigger space, uh, bigger capacity, uh, more money, more rides, more food. Uh, actually, no, not more food. Alhamdulillah, we got plenty of food. Eid Mubarak for every person. Alhamdulillah, a lot of turned out was a lot. A lot of people turned out. A lot of people I knew turned out as well. Assalamu alaikum, by the you know, um, a lot of them went though at the end. One more thing. Eid Mubarak to every single brother and sister in the whole world. Even if you're poor, rich, young, old, Muslim, believer. <laughs> Inshallah, okay. It was the best event so far. A real Eid for once in UK. One Eid, one Ummah, one world. One world. Assalamualaikum brothers and sisters, uh, please make dua for us, any bad things that we've done is from us and any good things is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please pray that next year inshallah that it goes bigger and better. As for this year, I'm so sorry for the crowds, but inshallah the event went mashallah very very well. It's been a wonderful day today, inshallah ta'ala, praise be to Allah who allowed it to happen. Uh, inshallah ta'ala, next year, inshallah ta'ala, we will do it bigger and better and we'll have more adab, more manners. And inshallah ta'ala, we'll have more manpower, inshallah. Um, hi, we were helping out the rights. I'm happy at the rights. We were helping out with the rights and, and we enjoyed ourselves and I will guarantee I'm going to do it next year. I'll do it next year. Inshallah, uh, 100% guarantee. <laughs> My brother. This is, this is brother. brothers John and um, father. Um, without him, not much of the fun thing will happen. Please, all, all the Muslims, please give this brother some prayers. And accept, um, give me just some prayers. They come to join with us as well, inshallah. But yeah, all, all thanks is for you, for you guys that helped us with the fun thing. Good. It's much appreciated. Well, we want to make it good for you. Thank you very much. Yeah, basically, the whole event's over now. People are going to come away from this event, they're going to be talking about it. So, inshallah, it's going to be a. Um, Welcome, Sam. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good thing, man. Inshallah. It was just an amazing experience. It was definitely, definitely worth the hours and hours of sacrifice on the, you know, by the volunteers. Definitely worth it. It was definitely, it was definitely just, you know, it was an amazing experience. Basically, you know, people, people need to get involved in stuff like this. If you really need to get involved in stuff like this, it was an amazing experience. You know, I definitely recommend volunteers to get involved next time. As you can see, if you look behind me, all of I just coming to a close. 
on both sides of me. This is the aftermath, as they, would, as they would call it. It's all coming down to a close. So please remember the brothers in your du'a that have set it up and closed it down. And please make du'a for the brothers that are setting up the rise and closing the rise down so they become Muslim and they become, become part of the Ummah. Sorry. If the cameraman's like to turn around, you can see all the brothers tidying up. This is the aftermath, as I said again. This is all the things that we have cleaned up. I mean, inshallah, we're cleaning up again. So just, inshallah, please remember us in your du'as. Today was um, a great, great day. Eight years of living in London, and I finally, I didn't exactly get to celebrate Eid the way I wanted, but I was able to let other people celebrate the way I wanted them to. And what I really wanted to know for the longest time while planning was, is this what they want as well? Do other Muslims want the Sunnah revived? Do other Muslims love the thought of praying outside, taking the prayer of Eid away from the Masjid, bringing it out in the open, having lectures, having nasheeds, and then having a fun fair ride in Bazaar and having all these rides for them? Do they want that for their children on Eid? And you know what? They said loud and clear that that's what they want by their attendance. We need the businessmen, Muslims, uh, the Muslim businessmen, Muslim business women, the Muslim uh, businesses, the Muslim organizations, the religious ones, and the business dunya ones, the, the schools, the masajid. I think everything that has the name Muslim on it should come together and find a way to do this on a larger scale in many, many different locations at the same time, simultaneously. Islam is not cheap. Islam is not cheap. Islam, when practicing it, can be expensive. And the more you spend on it, the more beautiful you practice it. It's as simple as that, as Allah says, who will spend on Allah? Who will spend upon the path of Allah Azza wa Jal? And Allah will give them palaces in the Akhirah. So I think this is a very worthy cause for Muslims to spend on. This year we just did it for you. We did it for everyone so they could see that it can be done. The non-Muslims, they can see what Eid is about. They hear about it in the news. They don't know what it is. Now they see. They see the children. They see the moms and dads. They see the exact same family unit. They see these are people. The only difference is how they worship or how they pray and how they celebrate their religious festival. The Prophet Muhammad said, every religion has its festival and this is yours. And I say to you, brothers and sisters watching, this was your event. This was your festival. And I hope that you can see that, you know, from the heart and the mind and the eyes and the ears, so that next Eid you will be on board supporting with your finances, with your energy, with your comments, with your suggestions, with your advice. And to make everyone feel comfortable, this project is called One Eid. It is run by Al Fitra, but it is separate from what is known as ECC, Eid Celebration Committee. This committee is there for all the organizations to come and join. So when they join up, it is there for us all to work together unilaterally, even if we decide that my mosque will pray Friday, your mosque will pray Saturday, we can still celebrate like this. Unity, even within ikhtilaf. Allahu Akbar, brothers. Today, we had unity within ikhtilaf. And I hope that may Allah unite us upon every other matter in the deen. Eid, one step at a time, two times a year. If we can unite upon it, at least in celebrating, at least in celebrating, then the sky's the limit. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you all jannah. As-salamu alaykum. Ya shaqi ta'uhi min Ah uh -huh.